And this one is called What is Seen? Smile and wave. Smile and wave every time you walk down the hallway and your hip pops and clicks with each step from the three tests, two dead relatives, failed relationship, friends that hinge on another forecast of a mild sunny day, and the family that finds your resolve to be expendable that's crashing on you all at once like waves, testing to see if the shore is still there. Smile and wave when you're harassed for having coffee in class because you're substitute for a night's sleep and a warm greeting because the thing about anxiety is that it will remind you with each step that your problems are yours and only yours. It's the rabid dog that chases you to be the person that is seen, the boy who seems to have life by the tail but can't quite seem to remember his locker combination or the closeness of anyone, anyone who isn't interested in his body or his test scores or whatever social advantage is held in knowing the one gay kid who isn't in theater and seems to be successful and nice. But always smile and wave, otherwise you have one more voice telling you that somehow your honesty has faulted you, that being unapologetically yourself is rude and infringes upon every person you contact. It's like living in a body bag. Everyone assumes what's inside, but not one soul has seen your face. You see, these creases in my face tell you that I'm a happy person. When they're the only really when they're really the only way you could tell that I'm tired. I am tired of working harder for simple things than everyone else. Waking up is like push starting an 87 Chevy that hasn't passed emissions in four years. And the only reason I love the sunrise is when I don't sleep. When my anxiety and depression pull in all nighter, challenging each other to see who will do more damage. The sun is the only one who knows of my insomnia and kisses my forehead with a calm warmth that hushes my hackers. So smile and wave when they tell you how hard life is going to be, when they attempt to scare off the spineless smile and wave through them as if they do not exist because every morning you bench press the mountains off your chest, you already put your demons on a leash and now they are yours. So when trouble knocks, when adverse conditions arise, smile and wave because once you have fought yourself for the breath you breathe and have won, no war chant will shake your walls, no army could ever crush you. And when they ask you why you don't stumble, just smile and wave. Because they don't get it, and that's okay.